Hello everyone. And welcome to my channel. Today's video I will learn about what is BIOS. And. What is the importance of a computer. And how to use it. And when to use it. In the beginning. BIOS word means. Basic Input Output System. And it has many names such as System BIOS, ROM BIOS, and PC BIOS. The BIOS is a firmware that is located on the electronic chips inside the computer, specifically on the motherboard of the computer. These electronic chips are programmed to configure all components of the computer or hardware, so that they work together harmoniously and without any problems. In other words, the main function of the BIOS chip is to configure the hardware at the beginning of the boot-up process, or when the computer starts operating. That is, the BIOS provides preliminary services at boot time, before the start of the operating system and programs. The BIOS firmware is built internally in personal computers, and it is the first program to be called. When the computer is turned on, this program, which is inside the chip, its main objective is to test the computer components, and prepare for starting the operating system, whether it is Windows or other operating systems. The BIOS is the first level for dealing with computer hardware, meaning that it is the introductory program for any input and output device such as the keyboard, screen card, sound card, and other components. And the firmware on the BIOS chip is developed by several companies. And each company produces a BIOS program with its knowledge to deal with specific models of the motherboard and its own set of chipsets. And therefore you will find a difference between companies that produce computers and motherboards for the quality of the BIOS. The BIOS consists of two parts, one of which is a fixed type of hard memory that is not adjustable, and is stored on the read-only memory. The other is the CMOS, and can be modified by the user to change the starting settings of the device. After we got to know what the BIOS, I will explain to you how to access the BIOS settings. The way to access the BIOS may differ, depending on the computer you are using. In any case, to access the BIOS settings, you must restart the computer to get into the BIOS menu. Then you have to press a specific button while the computer is booting. There will be a hint in the boot screen such as press F2 to access the BIOS. The most popular keys that are used are the Dell button on the keyboard or the F1, F2 or F10 button. But the best way to find out is to read the manual that came with your computer or motherboard. I will now explain how to modify the BIOS settings. The BIOS has a character-based interface that can only be navigated with the arrow keys, and any choices you make involve hitting the Enter key. Other keys that can be used in the current menu appear at the bottom of the screen, or on the right. Whatever the menu, be very attentive, and only adjust settings when you are confident you know what you are doing, and why. Interfering with certain settings, especially those related to overclocking, can make the computer work unstable, or even damage its hardware. Even if you know very well what you're looking for, certain listings may be located in completely different locations. This is why reading the additional information for each listing is so helpful. Because, it explains the purpose of this or another listing. And if you're having difficulties finding a specific menu in the BIOS, take a look at the manual you have for your computer, or motherboard, or visit the manufacturer's website. After making all the necessary changes, select save changes to make the computer remember them and restart the computer you can also select discard changes to restart without saving changes if some problems arise after changing the settings open the BIOS again and look for a line that says reset default settings or load default settings this way you can reset your BIOS settings to factory defaults and fix all the wrong steps you could have taken thank you for watching I hope that the video will be useful to you, and I hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.